In this tutorial, I'll show you some simple tricks to consider when uh, creating your scene, making objects and colors and things like that within Cycles. So Cycles does a great job. I mean, this is a preview of 50 samples on it. It's just a cube and a plane, nothing to it. But the lighting is really great, and all I have in here is one single light illuminating it from the side. That adds a little bit of drama to the scene. Just like years ago when painters painted, they painted, you know, with a one side light from a window, and then you'd see the dark shadows on the one side of a figure like that. But the this is mostly a lesson for those of you who are not trained as artists, illustrators, because the one thing to really heavily consider is the colors in your scene and the tone of the colors. And you have a huge advantage just by looking at the color set in here. So let's take a look at this color here. So the color wheel is like a great, great tool to have. And if, if you do nothing else for at least just getting started, when you select a color, and you want an adjacent color, like notice I have green for the cube and this kind of violet color for the background. Well, they tend to be opposite of each other on this color wheel like that. And that's a great technique to get used to because let's say instead of green for the cube and let's make this red for the cube like this. All right. So suddenly there's not as much contrast to the scene. Notice that? like that, well, unless I made it a really dark red that it would do it. But then notice what the green does to the scene. It definitely bounces, it. they balance each other out. So let's say I wanted to make it red like this, then to enhance the scene here for the background, let's change this, and that red was there, so I'm gonna make it more of a blue over here. And you notice the change, the difference in there? All right. Well, this is really a powerful technique to be able to take advantage of. Like that. So let's try it with yellow. Yellow, well those colors don't really work very well together at all. I mean my brain just sees that. So let's go, that was yellow, let's go put a blue into the scene like this. Alright, so these color matches, in fact this yellow is a little bit towards the green side, so let's move this a little bit more towards the purple side. There. And that helps it like that. And another thing to consider is on the not only on the color but on how bright this color is or how because I don't want to have a real dark color like this and a light and a light tone say for the yellow like this all right you try and sometimes you try and balance these tones together see how that tone is dark and that's a really light tone well that kind of doesn't quite balance well in the scene so I'll come over here and make this a lighter version of that purple towards that yellow and then it balances the scene out like that all right so like I said if you're not an artist and you don't know anything if just that little trick by itself can really help bring your scene to life okay well I hope that helps and I'll see you in the next lesson